Dream Brew. Thanks for having us. I'm Charlotte. And I am Emma. And we're both visual artists based out of Massachusetts. Um, it's a very uncertain time right now and it's really important for us to stay inside. But this is a project that I thought could pass a good way to pass time. And as a visual artist, I like creating these types of projects for myself. And I think, or I hope that you enjoy it too. The concept of this project is to use whatever you have lying around in your house and basically to use what we would consider waste and make it into art pieces. Paper puppets are a really fun way to make up characters or imaginary friends. There are a multitude of ways to make them. We thought about Marc Chagall, Frida Kahlo, Henri Matisse. They would all make paper puppets or stages or cutouts out of bound materials just like this. We can be as detailed or as simple as we want and it's really how you feel and how you want to portray the character you're going to be making. Um, so we're going to introduce you to our puppets now. The puppets that Charlotte and I made. This is Myrtle, the sheep. <laughs> this is Sprout, the flower. Winona, the strawberry. Loretta in a patchwork skirt. <laughs> Fiona, the heart. This is, what's the butterfly's name again? <laughs> Loretta, oh no. Oh. Um, Fernando. Fernando, the butterfly. And Calliope, the human butterfly. This is Pinky, the cat. <laughs> so here are a few steps on how to make these puppets and a stage. So first you're gonna wanna carve out a little space to work, whether it's in your room, on the floor somewhere, or on a side table, it's just important to have a workspace that is your own. So the materials that you'll need to make your puppets and stage are construction paper or sketchbook paper or printer paper, a cardboard box for your stage, markers or, or crayons or whatever you have to draw with, scissors to cut your puppet out, and most importantly, your skewers or chopsticks or metal straws, even markers to be the handle for your puppet. Here's our stage. It's made up of five pieces of cardboard. Uh, for it to stand on its own, we created um, incisions in four of the pieces so they kind of link together and they don't need much else to support it. We also use tape. Um, so I'll show you how to make a smaller version. So here's our five pieces of cardboard. Uh, this really long piece is for the bridge, the very top of the stage. Uh, and these will be the pillars holding it up. And these little ones will be the joints to hold the stage up. Um, the, so, the feet. The feet. Uh, so I made little cuts here into four of the pieces um, and they will link together. Like so. And just like that. And here's a miniature version of our stage. <laughs> just like the other one, and then you can draw and decorate it as you see fit. So now we're gonna draw our puppets and cut them out and make them for this small stage. So I'm gonna make a snake. Blue snake with um, purple scales. And I cut the snake out. skewer and tape the skewer to the back 
of our puppet. We use masking tape as well. Like you can use any kind of tape that is strong enough. And then now the puppet's ready to play. Remember when you're making your puppets, you can make them at any length. Um, height is good, or you can make them really short. So tiny strawberry, tall, tall lion. Um, the the ver it can be a varying size, and that can also help with your with your story. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the tutorial.